Now this is something that's interesting and I'm gonna put this in reverse just so we can see it. Hey everyone, welcome back to that Tesla channel. I hope you're all having a great Christmas. With Christmas this year, we got the update from Tesla and that's what I wanna show you in today's video. In this update, there are a couple big things that I'm pretty excited about and I wanna take you for a drive in the car to show you if you don't already have this update in your car or if you don't have hardware three yet. Now the biggest thing in this update is the full self-driving visualization preview. That is the hardest word to say, visualization, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like in the car. It is pretty cool. There's a couple other things I wanna show you in the car, but without further ado, let's go hop in the car and go for a test drive and I'll show you what this is all about. So as you can see, there are quite a few different things and I'm sure you've seen this in other videos of all the things that came in this update, but the two things I wanna focus on for this video are first, the driving visualization improvements. The first thing you're gonna notice is stop signs are now in our visualization over here among a quite a few other things which I'll show you as we drive around. But the other thing I wanna talk about, and I'll get into this in a bit, is the camp mode. I think that is an awesome update and I'll explain why in a bit here. Something that's never gonna get old is the zero to 60 and 3.2. As you're driving along just on normal roads here, you're going to notice that the visualization is the same. You're not going to get anything extra, you'll just get all the lanes that are showing up as normal. But as you start approaching some intersections with some lights and stop signs, you'll start to see all the new improvements. If we look closely on the screen, you'll see that those lights show up and it shows what color the lights are. Those are green lights and they show up on the screen as green. Something else that is really cool is anytime you're in a lane that has writing on the road, for example, we have the turn signs that are written in the road, those will show up on the screen. And as we come closer to this intersection, we'll see all the lights show up above. So as you can see, you have the three lights, they're all red lights right now, and those are the same three that are shown just up there. What's also cool in this update is you can see the line that is shown up there of where the intersection starts. That shows up when you get into any intersection. So as this light just changed, you can see that the light that I'm sitting at is still red, but the two over there, the two lanes, they have turned green. The motorcycles still come up, which is just an awesome feature of Tesla's. So on my car, I didn't actually purchase the full self-driving. This is a Stealth Model 3 Performance, and it's from 2019. So it comes with hardware three, but it is a stealth performance, meaning that it has the performance speed on the long-range all-wheel drive body, essentially. So it just has different software from the long-range all-wheel drive. I do have standard autopilot, and you still get these visualizations with it. But seeing the full self-driving preview really makes me consider it because this is going to show just how confident they are at predicting the roads and showing everything as it's actually happening. With this new preview of the full self-driving, I'm pretty confident in it because the Tesla is picking up everything that's in the roads with almost 100% accuracy so far. The only thing that I've seen small issues with are some of the arrows that are shown in the road, the ones that are painted, are showing up just kind of as a only turn left when the one that's actually painted in the road is forward and left turn. I wanna show you guys the railroad tracks now just so we can get an idea of this and as you can see as we're driving through here it shows the railroad tracks on the road and then it shows the lights that are up above now currently there's no train going through but it did display the lights for us now something that we had before the update but I just want to show you again here is that it recognizes all the cones here this is one of my favorite roads right now for this because it has so many cones on it under construction but you can see on the screen it's picking up all the cones all over the road and quite frankly that's just an awesome feature so I just noticed Noticed on the road here there are a ton of lines under this construction that were canceled out or blacked out over what used to be white lines to guide you on the road so as we go over these as you can see above us they're blacked out and Tesla is actually working very well it doesn't show them on the screen so that worked perfectly we've got these old lines showing up on the actual road up here but not on our screen just like it's supposed to work I want to see if this bike lane icon comes up on the left here, which will be just to the left of us. And it looks like the public bike lanes are not yet detected on the Tesla visualization here. So that's just something that's interesting to note. So as we're driving over, these arrows should be a left turn and a forward drive. And we'll see on the Tesla screen, it's showing a left turn and a forward drive. It's a little bit iffy about it, but it definitely got it right. Now this is something that's interesting and I'm gonna put this in reverse just so we can see it. On the screen you can see this is a big forward arrow. Now as we look at what comes up on the screen here, you can see that the Tesla screen is showing two arrows, one's pointing to the right, one's pointing to the left. 
technically, I guess that equals straight, but that's just something interesting to note. So for these ones that say only left turn, Tesla's just going to pick up the left turn and not the actual writing in the road. So I just pulled up to the supercharger. I think we did a good overview of the driving visualization preview for full self-driving in this update. The other big update that I'm pretty impressed with in this is when you put the car into park, you now have the option for camp mode. So let me show you this on the screen and then I'll tell you why I think it's so important. So when you put the car into park, you can then hit the fan icon and you have these options over here. So previously we had off for climate control, we had on for climate control, we had dog, but now we have camp. So when you put it into camp mode, it says the car will stay on until the battery reaches 20%. Sentry mode, security alarm, and walk away lock will be disabled. So what this means for us is we can now camp in our car. Saying camp in your car is a little bit of an interesting way to say it, but what we can do now is we can sleep in our car. So the reason that I think this is so important is if you are going on a long road trip in your Tesla, having the ability to stay sleeping in your car can save you $100 or $200 every single night. Now, typically I would say sleeping in your car is not a good idea. However, in these Teslas, in the Model S, in the X, and specifically in the 3 here, you can fold down the back seats and you can buy a cheap, it's about $90, it's an air mattress fitted for the back seats. Now the reason that is so good is because you spend $90 on the air mattress once and then anytime you need to sleep in your car doing road trips, you put on the camp mode, you put the mattress right in the back seat and you can sleep there overnight, saving you $100 or $200 every single night that you use it. I just thought that this was a really good update and I've kind of secretly been waiting for this feature to come out because because of the moon roofs here. When you're laying in the back seat and you look directly up at night, all you're seeing is the stars and it is pretty awesome. So guys, I'm gonna continue driving around and having fun with this update. I hope this video gives you some information of what came in this update. And once again, Merry Christmas. I hope you all are having a great holiday with your families. And if you have any questions about this, feel free to let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.